Well, I spoke with representatives from both parties today, and they both said they had a better turnout as far as early voting. And actually, this year it seeded the mayor election of 2019 as far as early voting. This year they had a total of over 11,000 people come out and early vote. So this could be a big indicator for what tomorrow's election looks like on Election Day. This year's race has already seen record numbers, not just in early voting, but Allen County Republican Party Chairman Steve Shine says they've already seen a new record in absentee ballots. Uh, early data shows that a significant uh, number of absentee ballots have been requested by Republican voters, uh, far outdoing years past and uh, exceeding the number of absentee ballots that the uh, Democrats have returned to date. Right now, the Republicans hold a 5-4 to four majority on the city council. The Democratic Party is trying to change that. Allen County Democratic Chair Derek Camp says it's going to be a tight race, but they have high hopes. Majority on City Council, we're going to be able to do even more for our neighborhoods. Uh, we've already done a lot in terms of repairing our streets and getting to the alleys, but this will be a whole lot easier with that Democratic majority that will work with Mayor Henry in order to do so. Of course, the Republican Party has no intention of letting that happen. Shine says they plan to keep the majority and do more work in the city's neighborhoods. Also, increased police presence in neighborhoods, community policing, if you will, uh, which needs to be enhanced. And then there are a few areas where co uh, city council has the opportunity to reduce taxes on city residents. Even though this race has different parties running against each other, Camp says it's not as partisan as you'd think. At this local level, it's not partisan. It's about making sure you're streets are repaired, making sure your neighbors in good shape. We're bringing in good jobs, all stuff that we have done with Mayor Henry, and we're going to continue to do with the Democratic majority and Mayor Henry. And also on this year's ballot will be the Fort Wayne Community Schools Public Safety Referendum. A yes vote will allow for more safety resources and mental health resources within the schools. This also means a $6 a month tax increase for the average Fort Wayne home. Live in Fort Wayne, I'm Troy Sprant, Fox 55 News.